the conflicts that come between non-white people themselves. Well, that's all engineered by the white supremacists. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, sometimes black people will say, well, we got we got these, uh, you know, uh, I don't know about the Hispanics, and you got these Asians coming in, and they're doing this, and some of them are kind of hostile toward black people and whatnot. We're all non-white. We are categorized as non-white. Yes. The white supremacists orchestrate all of these conflicts, and they do it all over the world because that's one of the secrets to their power, if you can call it a secret, and that is keep the non-white people, black, brown, red, yellow, as long as they are considered non-white, keep them in disarray. Mm-hmm. Keep them at each other's throats. Black people themselves, I mean, uh, you know, if we start talking about the the Indians that run the filling stations and whatnot, the people who are called Indians from India or, or Pakistan or someplace like that, quote, unquote, and we say, well, they're kind of hostile toward the black people. They are not courteous. I mean, they look at us with hostility and all like that. They act like we're going to steal something. Okay, this is all set up by the white supremacists. The white supremacists are in charge of all of that. Those people wouldn't be running those filling stations at all if the white supremacists didn't say that they could run them. They're, not, they're just trying to, you know, make a living and trying to keep people from stealing things off the counter, which is what black people do when they run the place. <laughs> all right? There's no difference. However, <laughs> most black people go out of business because there's so much stealing going on. I mean, finally, they just give, throw up both hands <laughs> yeah. and, and then give up. And then the place is just a vacant lot again. So, uh, but the white supremacists instigate all of that. They set that up, and they want it like that. Yes. They want the non-white people at each other's throats, and then they orchestrate. They hide behind the bush and laugh at all of them because they say, we keep, keep them fighting. Keep the black people, the young black people, dropping out of school and joining gangs and killing each other, killing the neighbors, killing the very fellows that they dropped out of school with. That's who they are killing. Yes. I mean, keep them at it. I mean, have them doing it all you know, around the clock in Chicago and Cleveland and, and wherever they happen to be. I mean, in Nigeria, in South Africa. All over this, the world. Yeah, all over the world. Keep it nonstop. Keep them going at each other. I mean, that makes our work easy. 